In this tutorial, you will learn how to create this absolutely amazing helmet with 100% surface modeling techniques. You will learn a ton of techniques and workflows how to create that kind of modern complex shape. And if you want to dive even deeper into surface modeling, I have a huge, amazing surface modeling course on plasticity. It's by far the best on the internet and you will learn everything about surface modeling, how to create that absolutely beautiful, amazing helmet design. And also you will learn the whole theoretical stuff behind surface modeling, what is tangency curvature. You will get amazing exercises and huge amount of bonuses. So if you are interested in surface modeling, definitely check out first link in the description. Let's dive right into our surface modeling tutorial. Go to Google and search for Lival C20 and yeah, then you get to this homepage. You have some really cool product images from all of the sites. So right click, save as, and let's bring them all in and set up first of all, all of our references. So let's start here by the side view. So just go to the right and import a append this one. So I like that when they looking to the left side, uh, right click, just bring them back a little bit and yeah, just M for material and make them a little bit opaque and this is fine. And uh, so I know that already because yeah, I did that, but here at the front, we see that this front piece is slower than this back piece. And here it's the other way around. So here's it a little bit more up and here it's a little bit more down. So let's just, yeah, just really rotate that image. So it's, yeah, it doesn't have to be here super exact. Yeah, but this should be fine. And let's go here to the front view and do the same import append. And let's take this front view. And yeah, we have to get to know the size. So let me just do one thing before we do that. So let's go here to this view and just create a line. So you will see it will look in any way a little bit off. I don't know, because maybe different focal length or something, but just create here in a line. So from top till yeah, approximately the bottom. So now again, let's go to the front view and activate here. Let's call that front and that side and also bring that side image a little bit back. Uh, so front image a little bit back, press M, bring it to the front and make it a little bit opaque, right click. And now let's just make it a little bit bigger and just adjust it. So yeah, it's approximately here. So at the top and yeah, approximately here at the bottom, but you will see that this, this is completely fine. Awesome. So let's start here with the really interesting part. And as always in our helmet stuff, we have to start with the main shape. And yeah, I've covered that already in my previous helmet exercise course. So check that out if that's a little bit too fast or even better if you want to go like really into detail and learn the whole theory about continuity curvature and how to really work with surfaces. Check out my surface modeling course. Yeah, it's by far the best course on plasticity on the internet. First link in the description. So that's why, because yeah, I want to create this whole blue uh, piece. I don't want that it takes too long. So yeah, I will just make it a little bit faster. So first of all, here disable selection and viewport. So let's create here a spline curve. And first of all, establish here approximately our shape. So we get something like that. And maybe here and here, right click and now just align everything a little bit. And yeah, spend some time and you don't have to go here and cut here because, uh, I mean, if we check out that thing here at the back, you see it's just a cut. So we will do it later on. So let's go here and I just adjust it. Like in this tutorial, I will not do it super perfect. Doesn't need to, but yeah, that looks already pretty fine. And here the same for, yeah, for this piece, which stands a little bit outwards because yeah, we will, I will show you some really cool techniques how we can do this. 
So you see, we have established here this main form. So this is absolutely fine. And let's go here to the front and do the same. Shift F, control point curve, snap it to the middle. Uh, we need tangency for the rounding. So just drag that outwards. And again, just create a few cool lines here, or uh, control point, control points. And again, adjust it a little bit. So yeah, and especially if you do it on your own or if you will practice then later on your own project, <laughs> definitely spend a lot of time here to get the form as good as possible because yeah, everything builds on top on, on of that. So let's delete this line here and perfect. So we have something like that and you see already that looks pretty cool. So yeah, let's get our shape and form. So first of all, let's cut this curve with this curve because yeah, we have to loft it. We can't loft it right now. So select that curve, press F, cut curve and cut it with this and we get an extra edge. So just join them with J and delete that extra point. So we have, you see three edges and now we can loft them, but don't loft them this way. We need curvature and tangency here on those outer shapes because yeah, we will mirror it over and we need rounding. Um, yeah, more on that in my surface modeling course, but you can here extrude that. This is fine. And let's take those two curves, control G and put them into a curves group and hide this whole curves because yeah, it's just as a backup and beautiful. So now we can select this edge, this curve, this edge and press L and you see we have G1 tangency. We could, uh, we could go also here G0 that was, was, what was before, but you see if we tap G1 here, beautiful rounding and we get this shape and let's select those two pieces, control G, call this group sheets and also disable that. So it's just as a backup because we don't have history and yeah, just we want to have everything what we need and also this curve, bring that curve also back there. And as you see, we have a perfect yeah, form, which is exactly as our helmet. And if you select it, Alt X and bring it to the other side, you see it looks absolutely beautiful. And I really love to work with this kind of stuff. But yeah, okay, all right. So look, let's go here to the right. And now I have to explain to you some stuff. So yeah, obviously we have, we have to cut this whole yeah, sheet here. And here we will do something interesting. So we will cut that here through before. So before this yeah, outstanding thing shows up. And then as a second cut, we will use this one here and cut it here. So then we have one surface and we have a second surface. And then we will create this third surface manually and do a lot of bunch of surface stuff. So for example, create all of this chamfer here. So I will just show you an absolute crazy, amazing techniques. Yes, you could just chamfer that in this example, but yeah, I will show you something really, really cool. What we also will use here and here and also here and just yeah, combine everything, make some solids and really just have some fun with uh, solids. I mean with surfaces and I'm really <laughs> in love with surfaces. So yeah, if you watch my tutorials, uh, I think that's pretty clear already. But yeah, anyway, so let's very simple, create a line and guys, by the way, like literally just leave me a like because of this painting tool. It's I think, it's so, so helpful for you just to yeah, show you and explain because yeah, I'm a very visual learner and I think this way that's really, really cool. So just leave a like for that and subscribe so you don't miss the next ones. But yeah, anyway, so let's create here a line and go here. So now we are just establishing the, 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 the very main form here. So we will do it here on the outside. So yeah, very rough right now. Spent a little bit more time, obviously. 
And yeah, let's uh, join those curves and just adjust it a little bit. And yeah, but that's super fine already. Yeah, so that looks really good. And now create a new line. And this line, you should start here. So from here to here. And let's give some fillets, I guess. So select that point and give a nice, okay, that's a chamfer. So select that and give it again a nice bevel and do the same for all of those other points. If you want to see the lines a little bit better, it's just select them both and bring them here before you are in the surface. And it's still a little bit hard to see. So let's go here to the side, press M, just make it a little bit more opaque. Yeah, now we see the points and now we have just a little bit better of a visual understanding of those lines. So give them cool, nice fillets. I like that a lot. This one like that and this one just a tiny one. Uh, leave it a little distance here. And yeah, I really like that. So what we can do, so let's take this curve and cut here our surface. We can delete this whole piece and do the same with this curve. Press C and cut our sheet here. Let's select both curves, put them into our curves. And you see that looks already pretty, pretty good. And yeah, we don't have any details, obviously. And let's already create here this hole. So, okay, there are one million different ways how we, how we could uh, do this, but yeah, very, very simple. Just create here some lines. Oh, and we need here this outer edge. So not the one which goes inside because everything in the inside we will cr uh, create manually. So yeah, do something like that, but okay, for tutorial, that's fine. So like that, just two lines and maybe bring them approximately same size. And I'll select both of those points and love them. And here you see already, basically you get a nice rounding with D. You can just play a little bit more around with it. And yeah, just adjust it a little bit, spend a little bit more time because you see it's not exactly perfect, but it's fine for me here. And well, what's happening here? Well, that looks really crazy. So just select them all, press G, bring them outwards, press S, scale them. So, so scale them here on the X axis. So to zero. So you see everything is now, yeah, looks normal and human. <laughs> so press J, press C and cut this body and do the same for the lower sheet. I mean, so pet, uh, select that. And that looks really fine. Select both sheets. You don't, we don't need them, but let's just put them to the sheets and also here this curve to the curves. And you see that's basically looks pretty good. So yeah, <laughs> that's fine. All right. So we can now create this cool little piece and yeah, we will bridge curves. It's, I just love to work with plasticity 1.2. And the patch tool, you see, it's, it's just so, so fun. So what we will do is, um, we will create a shift F curve and just make here a little rounding, but we will not go till the end because we will bridge that. And we will also do bridge the same here with this curve. So, okay. Let me explain it to you this way. So first of all, we need this edge here separately. So shift D. And what we can do very simple, just select those two points, press L, tap, tap, tap. So you have just a G1 tangency. This uh, sh should work fine. You, you can adjust it. So maybe that's a little bit too sharp, but this is fine. And now what we need is because you see, so let me paint it again. So here you see it's like going like that, but then it's smoothly transitioned into this surface here. So we have to do the same. So we have to create here kind of a curvature, which meets at this point. So then we have this surface here transitioning smoothly into this one. And yeah, we need also obviously tangency uh, here. And yeah, it's just beautiful. So let's go. 
very simple to do <laughs> if you know how to do that. And yeah, so we will take this edge and we also have to uh, separate it, so Shift D. And we have those two points, but we can't really loft them at the moment because yeah, it just doesn't know what to do. So let me just hide those two images. We need to shift A line and put it here and go here to bi binormal X direction. So it's just going here to the left. And let's select those two curves, press J and hide them. So now we can create here our curve by press 1, select those two points and press L. And here you see already we are getting something, but let's adjust that a little bit. So first of all, here it's too strong. So yeah, press G1 and yeah, maybe try G1 here. No, I, I like G2 here, but yeah, just adjust that a little bit. So yeah, maybe a little bit like that and maybe a little bit less here. But yeah, this is really just playing around and going back and forth. But for the tutorial, this is absolutely fine. So let's bring back this curve back. We don't need this thing here. And now we can basically loft that. And yeah, with Plasticity 1.2, it's just amazing. Select this edge and this curve and loft that. And you see you have G1, so it has to be G1, so it's smooth tangent. Um, G2 doesn't work, obviously, and G0, you would have a sh sharp corner. We don't want it. So G1, and now shift click this curve, <clears throat> and you see you have this perfect structure all around. As here in our reference, it's also a little bit sharp, but it's still yeah uh, smooth. <laughs> the beautiful thing is, look, it's absolutely smooth transitioning into here our G1 surface. Exactly as here and you see how simple that is. So <laughs> if you know how to do that, so but now you know it too. And yeah, so press OK. And let's take all of our curves, put them into curves. And man, I really like those groups here and this workflow because now you see if we just activate this whole group and we want to yeah, redo something or go back. We don't have a history, right? And a lot of people complaining, oh, no history. I personally never needed that. I just have here everything what I need. And if I have something to rebuild, I have everything, right? Uh, so the same for the sheets. But yeah, here it's yeah very simple everything. But yeah, if you will decide to go with this course, yeah, you have obviously a huge amount of sheets and details and all that stuff. And yeah, that's really, really, really helpful uh, to have them. Yeah, so let's continue. Pretty simple. Mm, we can here select both of those sheets, press J and combine them into one. And let's first of all, yeah, do this chamfer. So you could just give it the thickness here. So you could give it here just the thickness, very low budget way and just give here a chamfer, but it would not add up here as you see and just in general. So maybe even here it would more or less work. But once you get a little bit more complex shapes, <laughs> definitely doesn't work anymore. Um, yeah, so we have to do it manually. And yeah, I just want to show you how to work with surfaces. So yeah, that's very, yeah, just good workflows to know. So just go here to the edge endpoint and just create a line and take those two lines here, shift D and do the same here, shift D. And now just take this and sweep it around this curve, you see? So we are building kind of this kind of chamfer, but you see it's just one chamfer. So it's even already different than if you would chamfer an edge, because then we would still have a straight piece and we don't want it. So, okay. And now we do have the same adhere at the bottom. So select this edge, shift D, select that, shift P, and do the same here. So it's the same angle. So press OK. Let's delete those curves. We don't really need them. And that looks really, really, look, this is absolutely beautiful. It's perfect. 
and without any basic chamfering. <laughs> so, yeah. So, let's continue. And honestly, let's call this, so those two pieces, hide them and let's focus first on this piece here on the bottom because yeah, we have to do some really cool stuff. So first of all, I want thickness and yeah, I will do it manually. I will show you a simple way. There are some a yeah, little bit more advanced, cleaner ways, but yeah, they take like much more time. But if you just select only this surface here and you can shift D, then you have this extra sheet and hide this other sheet, which you duplicated and now just select it again and extrude that a little bit. So it's almost kind of the same thickness. Press OK and if you bring that sheet back, you see you have kind of a thickness and yeah, obviously we will connect everything in a second. But that's really cool. So what we will do now is connect everything, create kind of a solid. And then here again in this example, I think you even could do like a low budget chamfer. But um, yeah, I will just show you the advanced technique, which you can then use for much more complex uh, shapes. And just that you understand more how to work with surfaces. And yeah, I think that's super valuable. So yeah, uh, very simple. Let's just select all of those edges here and they're always the same. Press L, tap, tap, it has to be always G0, so no uh, tangency, press OK. And you see we are giving it a thickness and let's do, so let me hide this image and let's do here for those edges, press L, tap, tap. We will close those triangles in a second. And yeah, so let's do it here the same. Press L, tap, tap, and let's connect all of those lines. Sometimes if you connect too much, you get some issues, so don't select everything. It will not work most of the time, so tap, tap. But this loft is working fine. Uh, let's do here the same. So select those edges, L, tap, tap, and let's do the last ones. Let's try if this will work. L, tap, tap. Okay, that looks good. Perfect. Press 4. Select all sheets. Press, okay, J. Perfect. So we have one continuous sheet. And now let's just here press 2. Alt click. Select this triangle. Patch holds with G0, no continuity. You see? That's, uh, yeah, in this example, that's fine. And here also press 2. Alt click and G0, so patch holds G0. And you see we have a solid created out of surfaces. And now we can work further along with that. So now we will create, as I said already a few times, this cool chamfer manually. So how we will do this, um, so maybe let me paint that. I think that will be a little bit more clear. So we will cut a little piece out of here. So we will create this offset and then we will delete this surface. Okay. Then we have here at the bottom this loft, right? The surface. We will cut it in half along here everywhere. So, okay, it's a little bit hard to paint, but then we will also cut it here. Then we have this hole here, right? And what we will do, just do is then loft with G0 this whole thing. And guys, I tell you, this is the absolute, by far the coolest, most amazing techniques to create chamfers manually yourself because you have so much more control because what you can then do as well. So in the course here, as you see, with the same technique, but just a little bit different because yeah, this is in the course a little bit more advanced. You see, we have here one surface and it goes like, look, it's a perfect transition and this hard, sharp cut is starting. And so the surface is continuous going here. And then here, look, this is a perfect transition, a perfect gradient going into here and along all of that 
stuff and you can't just do it by here giving a, a, a low budget chamfer. So this technique, um, which yeah, in the course we will go much more in depth and detailed in, in this tutorial here. This is what you can achieve by this technique, which I will show you. And guys, this is, it's, it's just, it will enable you to do so, so amazing, beautiful, crazy stuff in, in plasticity and cats. So yeah. So yeah, uh, by the way, I've selected here all of this edge and now I just press O and I think I have to go a little bit. Yeah. So you have to do it a little bit with love. So yeah, something like that. Yeah, that looks really good. I like that. Yeah, perfect. So this is fine. Press OK. And we basically don't need this whole surface. So Shift X and let's continue. So now we have to do, uh, so break all of those surface pieces into half. So press Control R, tap, and always just here uh, break it in half. So pretty simple, Control R, press tap, and just go here towards the end, Control R and tap, and whoops, I messed that up, Control R, tap till the end. Perfect. So now you can also select those surfaces and Shift X, delete them. And now you see we have this extra cut here. I don't know where it's coming from. We don't need it, so just delete it. So now we have to cut, so we need here, so create a line from this point to this point. Because yeah, we have to close that chamfer here, right? But this triangle here is just looking over. Um, yeah, so we have created the line, select this face, Alt J, unjoin it, select the curve, C and cut this body and delete it. You see, perfect. So yeah, bring that back. So select both sheets, press J and let's do the same here at the very end. Again, shift A, go from that point to that point and select this face, Alt J to unjoin, select that curve, C, cut this um, sheet, delete this triangle here and the curve and perfect. And now we are ready to jam for that. So press J and now start to loft that and yeah, just do everything one by one. Press L, tap, tap. So you are in G0. And yeah, it's not clean now, but yeah, I will not fix it here in this tutorial. So yeah, because otherwise it will just take too long, but yeah, it's fine for the tutorial definitely. So press OK. Yeah, you see, this is also like not perfect, but yeah, it's, it's okay for now. So yeah, let's, okay. This one will be also a bit messy. L tap, tap. And yeah, okay. No, that's fine. Yeah. So it's not 100% perfect, but it looks good. So press four and J and select all of them. J and we don't have a solid. Why not? We should have one. So select that sheet, press F and search for find boundary edges. Ah, okay. We found someone. Okay. What's happening here? Um, okay. I basically delete this whole surface and just do it again. So yeah, select all of those edges or select those edges here first and G zero and tap here. So with shift and do it also G zero. So it will loft to that edge. Yeah. Okay. That should work fine. And now we can select both of those. It has to be G one. And let's just go here to those edges. Give those edges G zero, obviously. And that doesn't work. Okay. Then let's just select those edges here. Press L tap tap. And let's see if that works. So press four and join everything. Perfect. You see, you have a solid and we have a really cool chamfer with some little issues, but yeah, so you don't have any crazy transitions because yeah, our model doesn't have that. 
but in this way you can create that it's you have to do some a little bit of more work but it then looks also much much cooler perfect so let's bring back our other sheets so you see that looks really beautiful and basically let's do the same here on the top so hide this lower piece and let's select both of those edges, uh, sheets, shift D, duplicate them, hide those others for now. And again, select both of them. And now you can bring back the other sheets. And now you can just extrude or offset that yeah, around about the same offset. And yeah, you see it's fine here. And if you go to the side, you see, okay, it's maybe a little bit too much, but yeah, that's absolutely fine for now. And yeah, so let's connect everything as well. So select those edges, press L and give them G0 with tap tap and do the same here. Always G0 and do the same here g0 and let's do the long ones first g0 so l g0 and let's do those ones that looks fine and now we just have okay we have to close also yeah we could also close that differently a little bit better but <laughs> that's also completely fine for now so g0 so again four and select everything and you have a sheet now we have to close those triangles so alt click patch holds and i think somewhere oh yeah and and here as well so alt click patch holds g0 and boom we have two beautiful solids so that's yeah basically almost it for the solid part or services part. So yeah, what we can do now is just, yeah, maybe give here a little fillet, maybe here also a little fillet. Yeah, you see it works beautifully because yeah, you see that beautifully. And yeah, so let's continue and yeah, also let's add also let let's add here a nice little fillet so there are just maybe just three and the same here yeah there's a little issue but yeah for me it's fine here now and now let's create some cool cuts and holes and yeah i just love to create this kind of with this yeah angular shapes here so we can go here to the front and yeah, you can mirror it over or not, but yeah, I don't need that. So I go import, Im import append and here this front view. And again, just scale that. Yeah, I don't need it exactly the same. So somewhere like here, but I want to bring it a little bit back and press M, bring it to the front here, the depth and transparency a little bit. So if we go here to the front, yeah, that's, looks a little bit off so yeah somewhere here scale that a little bit up and yeah again the perspective is a little bit off here the proportions but yeah this is absolutely super fine here for now and very simple just create a line uh, create a shift f line and go here from yeah from yeah somewhere here edge drag it a tangent a little bit out so you have a little bit of curvature so somewhere like here shift f do the same here drag that out as a tangent and bring that a little bit here outwards so yeah maybe you could have a little bit more of curvature so somewhere here and just shift a com uh, combine them select all of those go here bring them to the front press s scale them to zero on the y axis so they are yeah this thing press j and now let's give them just um or before we 
give them a bevel, let's offset them here to the inside. So this way, because now we can give them simultaneously a bevel with the same size that should work in this example. Oh, it doesn't work. So let's give this one this size and this one just a little bit more. Yeah, I like this just a little bit better. And this is fine. So yeah, let's, I will not cut it. I will imprint that. So select both of them, press F, search for imprints, select the solid, press OK. And um, yeah, we don't need those two surfaces, Shift X. And we don't need this surface, so shift X. And yeah, we basically also don't need all of those surfaces here. I don't know where they come from. I think because yeah, we loved it that. So shift X and also here, but we will mirror it over. So we don't really need that. And yeah, perfect. So let's now sele um, select first of all this edge here which is kind of in the inside and shift X or just X deleted. We just need here those edges. And I really don't like my pen tablet, how it works with plasticity. It's so wonky. And yeah. Oh, but let me just use my mouse because for me, it's a little bit loud, this clicking. So yeah, just let me know in the comments if if this clicking here is too loud, because then I will just use my mouse, then it's not so wonky. But yeah, so so just let me know in the comments later then, if that disturbs you or something, I don't know. Uh, select all of those curves here and press L and tap tap G0 and you see we got already what we want. So press four and select all of those sheets, press J and let's bring them all with Alt X here to the other side, merge halves together. So they will union into a body. And guys, you see, we have two solids and guys, look, you see what you can do with surfaces like this looks like, okay, this is very basic here, everything, but it's already, it's just, I don't know. It just feels good that you did it everything yourself, but now it's not even possible with booleans or something because look, the form, look guys, it's, I don't know, it's half an hour or so, 40 minutes, and it just looks so beautiful and exactly this form, and it doesn't look wonky or low budget, it just looks amazing. So guys, we have some holes here at the top, but what I want you to do is go here, and you have here the top view, and just go and create those yourself, and yeah, just implement that latest techniques I, I showed you. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I will not show you how to create that light here. It's, yeah, it's super crazy basic. And if you liked that tutorial, I can absolutely recommend you this course. We will go through the whole theory as a bonus, what curvature is, what is tangency, G0, curvature, tangent, uh, continuity, all that kind of jazz. And then, yeah, as a main part, create this helmet. Check out first link in the description so you can check out those images and all that stuff. And yeah, you have a ton of, of bonuses. And yeah, guys, I just launched that two days ago and I have already 40 sales and yeah, the people are absolutely satisfied with the course in the, our community. And yeah, this is by far the best course on surface modeling, <laughs> like by far on the internet. So check that out. And otherwise check out my other videos and enjoy the free content. Leave a like and subscribe. That would help me a lot. And you don't miss my next tutorials. So create those holes here in the top. See you in the next one. Bye.